officially halfway, a little over halfway through the five part amazing series of Osteology 101 with my friend Jude and I. We filmed it at Leiden University and it's now time for part three. How do you tell like if this is like a woman, or not a woman, a female, or part a probable female versus <laughs> a, a male slash probable male? We essentially uniquely look at the skull and the pelvis. Okay. Um, we have pelvi. Yeah. Pelvi? Pelvises? Pelvises. Pelvises? Like moose. Pelvises. Okay. Mies, mies, and peel pieces. Peel pieces. There are a few things that you can look at here. It's, uh, the pelvis is a little bit more accurate than the skull, just because of when we give birth and yeah. men don't. We do have a, some biological differences that make birthing a little easier for women. <laughs> <laughs> some, but not for everybody too. So that's the, the issue. Anyways, so there's a few things that you can look at. Okay. So we have here two different examples yep. of a pelvi, yes. pelvis, oxcoxa, oxcoxa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> looking at this at a glance, mm -hmm. these ones are a little easier. They are cast anyways, but yeah. looking at this at a glance, this I would say male, and that I would say female, probable female. Probable female. Or female. It's very, it's very dainty. Yes. Yeah, so go let's... like that? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is where my bone goes. <laughs> I'm trying to like, no. Oh god, I can't even do this right now. <laughs> okay, so like, yeah. it goes here. This is the outside, or this is this side. No, it's, this is my yeah. leg. It goes this like is, this. <laughs> this this side. <laughs> there. There you go. This is where it is. Okay. okay. It feels secure in my joint. Okay, so this is the pelvis. This okay. is a woman's pelvis. So it's probable female. Probable I am probably female. a female. Yeah, probably. A probably. Female. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so there's a few things you need to look, look, can look at, and so one example is the greater sciatic notch. So it's this little notch. In here. And so in males, for example, males, yeah. probable males, then it, this notch is going to be more like this, it's going to be more angular, a lot smaller, whereas in women or females, yeah. it's a lot wider. It's a lot wider, it's a little curvy. Exactly. And so it can be very okay. wide sometimes. Love your curves, ladies. Yeah. I had a skeleton last week that was the most female skeleton I've ever seen. Nice. So that's always good. Anyway, so there's other things too. So you, there are also some things that are up for debate but to okay. if they actually provide enough information to say anything and so you could look at over here you could look at the pubic symphysis so this part over here this one okay yeah and you could also look at um this general shape this here yeah ilium and then the crest so in an, it's more of an s in men this is example. more like a s that's a thing things vary, it's indeterminate right? yeah <laughs> so you can have elements it's not all going to be when you're filling something out a yeah. form or something, then it's not always going to be female, female. That's the point. And so you kind of create female. Well, this trait is a little bit more male, and then this trait is a little bit more female. Oh, okay. This, I have no idea. It's right in between. And then you create an average from all these. And that becomes oh, okay. a sex estimate. We use so. estimate a lot because we're not going to say for certain. Yeah. And so those are elements that add the pelvis. And then the other thing, which is a big one. Okay, so it's so a sacrum, the, the sacrum. same kind of thing. And so you could tell when something, a woman's going to be a little bit broader. Mm -hmm. And it's a man's is a lot more curved in because obviously if a woman was as curved in as a man's could be for the sacrum Then the baby would be just knocking their head <laughs> Maybe that explains <laughs> Maybe, that Maybe explains my mom you. just has a very male sacrum Narrow birthing canal <laughs> But okay. yeah, and so a woman's um, pelvic girdle, pelvis area girdle. Okay. Is <laughs> essentially going to be a lot wider and yeah. broader, right? And yeah. a man's is more narrow because it doesn't need to be wide, which is why women have hips, all that kind of stuff. Got it. Yeah. And so that's one way. The other way that you can tell sex, which is not as accurate just because, I mean, just look around on the street sometime, it's very variable, mm -hmm. is the skull again. So with a skull, for example, yeah, there are certain traits that you have. So for example, men are typically more robust in their skulls. So when you look at a manly skull, typically what people think is yeah. very, very angular jawline, very broad, like brows yeah. and... I like a good jawline in a Good jawline, yeah, strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. a typically male skull. But when you look at, just again, look around, some of us have a lot more angular jaw bones, mm -hmm. jawline, and a lot more broader um, brows or foreheads, higher cheekbones, more robust cheek... Like, there's a... Okay. It's a very mixed system, and that's why we yeah. rely more on the pelvis. But, for example, so there are a couple of things. So if we look at your skull right now, it is more female 
in the sense that your chin, for example, yeah. a man's chin is very out. Or we'll use that as an example. This one? This is a very, this is a predominantly male skull. And yeah. you can see it's very angular here. It flares out even the jaw. Yeah. The chin is a lot more prominent. There's a lot, there's a lot of robust, robusticity. Robusticity. So in this, this is, skull. okay. This is, so let's pull, my, I'll pull my skin back. Or does that help? <laughs> but your jawline, for example, yeah. so in a man, it's very angular. If, not, if yeah. anything, it goes even further out. Okay. Doesn't follow the line. Yeah. In a woman, like yours, falls really nicely. It rounds out. I have a beautiful jaw. Have a beautiful, feminine jaw. And so, and those are just little examples. And okay. also, you could tell with frontal and parietal bossing. And so, this is your frontal bone, and then it kind of like comes out a little bit in women. And the same with the parietals too. So these side bones. Yeah. So there's a lot of elements that you could look at back here. The man sticks out a lot more. Woman does not. Is this a man's skull? This is more manly than this, this one. Okay. And then also the brow. So the brows are a big one too. Men, male skulls are typically more robust than the brow. So you have a lot more, you know, those men with the like little... the neanderthal -y. Men are neanderthal <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You'll see that men have a lot more... Like you know, a pronounced... A pronounced, yeah. Over... Brow line. Brow thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And also here too, then it'll kind of come out and come in. Right yeah, more, yeah, women's okay. are more. Just think, women's skulls are typically more like soft, female and supple, skulls. and delicate. Okay. okay, but they're strong. Yeah, they are. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so these are a couple of things that you could tell with that. But again, we okay. could talk forever. <laughs> we could. All right, very cool. So those are like the major things on like age and sex, which is really cool. Pretty awesome actually to learn about like skulls and pelvi, pelvi, pelvises, pelvises. Pelvis. Pelvis a pelvis. Um, wow. So uh, yes, Coxie. yeah, the cox. <gasps> the coxic. Os cox. Ox coxic. There's so many <laughs> words that I'm learning here. Mm. Who knew there was so much to talk about There's with bones? So much. Thank you again so much to Leiden University for letting us use all of their amazing material to let us film in their lab. Guys, if you want to uh, check out the osteology program in Leiden or any of the archaeology programs in Leiden because they're super, super cool, I put a link to their uh, website below. They're really fun. I've got to meet so many awesome people here. So definitely come and come on over if you're thinking about studying archaeology. It's really great. If you want a write-up, they have a great lab. <laughs> yeah. If you want like a write-up or anything on Osteology again, link to my website in the bio here in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that button, and follow Jude on Instagram because yes. she does some cool stuff. It's Jude's Archives. Yeah. It'll go over here. Jude's and Archives. And it's not just bones, it's actually no. just history and bones. She does some cool <laughs> stuff. In general. Yeah. So if you like following like my stuff, definitely follow Jude. <laughs> Stay dirty, my friends. <laughs>